Hey guys, it's Veronica, and I'm so sorry in advance if I cough a little bit during this video. I've been sick and I literally just took a, um, I just took a shot of my inhaler before filming in hopes that it will help um, quell my coughs. But I'm here today to talk about the T3 curling wand. Y'all, I'm incredibly obsessed with this. I have always used a curling iron with a clip. I just felt more comfortable with it. I thought the curls were better. But ever since I got the T3 wand, I have not gone back to my curling iron with the clip. I thought this would be really hard to use. I thought that um, I just wouldn't get the technique down. But honestly, after the first time I used it, I was totally sold. And I'm here today to show you how to use it. So you aren't as stumped as I was the first time. So. As you can see, I've already curled a lot of my hair and you definitely wanna leave it to sit and um, just let your curls kind of process until they're cooled down. You don't wanna to touch them until they're cooled down. But I'm gonna do this side and then finish off this side so you can see um, how to curl in each direction. So you wanna hold your iron downwards and you wanna curl the hair away from the face. That is the key. Now I'm not using the protective glove that comes with the kit because I have um, gotten my curling technique down, but um, if you're new to this, you probably wanna use the glove the first few times so you don't burn yourself. And see how that's kind of like, almost like a mermaid curl. Um, so again, you just wanna leave it. Don't touch any of the curls you did. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side so y'all can see like a full side. What I do is I usually pin half of my hair up and I do the underneath sections first, and then I continue with the top section, top and sides. So you wanna just brush it out. Again, point your wand down and curl away from the face. It's kinda of hard to do it on camera, but you can kinda of see it there. See how I'm just holding the end of my hair and kind of holding it away from the iron? You wanna do that to protect your ends. Just hold it there for a little bit and your curl will come out nice and shapely. Nice and shapely. Um, and then, I'm, you know, it depends how you want your curls to look, but I usually use sections about this big. And again, point it down and wrap, 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 wrap and just let it sit. By the way, this wand comes with two different um, barrel sizes, which I'll show you. Um, I always use this one, it's my favorite. The results of the curls are my favorite, but I do like the others for specific looks, and I'll kind of chat about that in a minute. So again, I'm pointing it down, and I'm curling away from the face. And this iron heats up really, really quickly. Like you turn it on and it's ready to go in 30 seconds, which I love. And it gets really hot, which means you have long lasting curls that you don't have to hold it on your section too long to get a really nice formed curl that lasts a long time. Now when I have um, the front section left, I'll either do it as one big piece or I'll divide it into two. Today I'm dividing into two just to show you more of the curling technique. And I realize I look weird right now because my hair is kind of covering my face, but I'm gonna show you the finished look once the curls have had a little bit of time to cool. And then you'll kind of see how the whole thing just turns your hair into these gorgeous beachy waves that I absolutely love. Um, I will say with this, with this wand in comparison to like a typical curling iron, I find that the waves are more beachy, mermaidy versus like a round, more polished type of curl that you would get with, um, there we go, with a traditional um, curling iron with a clip. So when I'm done, um, this is the Living Proof Humidity Shield Hairspray. Just go ahead and spray it all over. Just you wanna lock in your curl. And then I just kinda let it sit. So I'm gonna let it sit while I talk about the other attachments. And it does look kind of weird right now because it's super curly. So the great thing about this wand, I'm gonna show it to you up close, there is a lock and unlock function. And obviously you wanna turn it off and wait till it's cooled down, but you're able to switch out the barrel, see these kind of like plug right into it, to either a tapered wand or a thicker wand. Um, I actually haven't used the tapered wand to be honest because I love um, that, that size that comes with it, but I have used this one. So this wand size 
it's either perfect if A, you have super long hair because the longer your hair is, the larger you can go with a barrel and still get a nice curl because there's just more length. And um, what I like about this is it kind of adds like volume and shape to hair versus like ringlet curls like these ones. So if you just want to add like polish to make it look like you've gotten a professional blowout, this is the barrel size that I recommend. If you want like beachy fun waves, then I obviously recommend the one I just used. So this is my hair kind of post curling. I did my whole head, you can kind of see. Um, and then what I do is I just take a brush and I start at the root and I just, my hair is really strange since I had babies and I lost a lot of it, but this definitely makes it look like voluminous. And I kind of just shake the curls, just give them a shake, kind of play around with them. And then I'll honestly just let my hair um, sit like this for 20, 30 minutes. Once I do like the initial shake and brushing down from the root just to get any tangles or clumps out, I just let it sit. And over time, like within the next 20 to 30 minutes, your waves will actually get a little bit looser and you'll kind of notice that they um, take on sort of a softer shape and appearance, which is the look I love. I do love them when they're structured like this. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks glamorous, but I will say that my favorite um, waves are the ones after like 15 or 20 minutes of using the iron and giving your hair a shake. If you wanted the process to be faster, you could um, run a brush through it. I don't recommend this just because I prefer to let the natural flow of the waves happen just on their own kind of with gravity and movement. Um, but I do just adore these waves. I think they're so gorgeous. They give your hair so much volume and make your hair look so much thicker and bigger. I lost so much hair after I had Lincoln. I, I never really experienced that with my daughter, but with my son, I lost a ton of hair. My hair changed texture. It's like all wiry and rigid and just not what I'm used to. And then I literally, every time I brush my hair, every time I wash my hair, there's just tons falling out. And it's like still kind of happening, even though I'm still taking vitamins. So I think it was just a big hormonal change for me. Anyway, so this iron basically, I feel like gave me that shape and volume back that I've always wanted and I absolutely adore it. Now the wand with the three interchangeable, um, with the three interchangeable wands, it's a little on the pricey side, I'm not gonna lie, but I 100% recommend this. It's very rare that I try a new product and like completely abandon what I was using before. I'm a creature of habit. If you've watched my YouTube channel, um, you know that I basically had the same makeup routine for like 10 years. I still do my makeup almost the exact same way as I always have, so I am a creature of habit. But after getting this iron, I will never go back. Like, I love the curls this gives. I love the shape, the definition. I love how long they last. I just feel like this makes your hair look gorgeous, like you got it done professionally, and it literally takes less than 10 minutes. I obviously curled some of my hair before I started filming, but I would say on an average day, it takes me five to seven minutes to do my entire head. Like I said, it does get really hot, so you're not having to hold your hair there forever as you're wrapping it to get that nice, defined, tight curl. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this review. As I, as I said, it does come with the two other attachments, so if you prefer a different style, you can try those. But I absolutely adore this. It is worth the investment. It's such an amazing product. I also use their hair dryer. I also love their volumizing rollers. I just feel like T3 is such a fantastic brand. I cannot say enough good things about it. I'm so thankful that I've gotten these products and that they worked so incredibly for me. So I hope um, if you get a chance to try it that you love it as much as I do. And I will go ahead and just give a close up of my curls so you can kind of see their structure and just how they fall. They just stay in so well, they hold so well. And it's just such a beautiful look. I adore it. Well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I hope that this video is gonna help you um, with technique. And if you're on the fence about purchasing one of these, maybe this is what's gonna finally get you to pull the trigger. Um, feel like I have fancy hair every day because of this and I just adore it. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye.